federal minimum wage was enacted by the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938. This was during World War II. Franklin D. Roosevelt was president at the time. The first minimum wage was set at 25 cents per hour. That is roughly $5 an hour in today's money. In 1968, minimum wage peaked. According to the DWV, the inflation adjusted rate of minimum wage at the time would have been equal to $11.79 per hour in today's money. If minimum wage had continued on par with inflation, the rate would now be $19.38. In 1968, the actual minimum wage was $1.60 per hour, equivalent to $11.79 per hour today. Our current minimum wage is $7.25 per hour. $7.25, that is. This is not a livable wage. Raising minimum wage would give the economy a boost, as well as reduce poverty levels. Raising minimum wage would also create more engaged employees. According to EPI's latest study on the matter of raising minimum wage would boost the economy by spurring economic growth and creating an increase in workers. An economic upturn would benefit employees, business, businesses, and even the government. Econ economists recognize and understand that by putting more money into the hands of families, purchasing power is boosted. Generally, the more money people make, the more they spend. The Bureau of Labor and Statistics recently conducted a study in which 55% of workers are raising families and using their income to live off of. If minimum wage were raised to a livable amount, these families would be able to stop receiving government aid, such as food stamps, Medicaid, Medicare, etc. The money for these government-funded programs comes directly from the taxpayer. In essence, we as society as a whole are funding corporate American shortfalls. According to a study conducted by Aaron Dubay, a 75%, 75 cent increase in the federal minimum wage would reduce poverty levels by 2.4%. That is equivalent to 4.6 million Americans coming out of poverty. In turn, the increase to $8 an hour would increase the number of Americans living in the 10th percentile income bracket. Long term, this 39% increase would elevate 6.8 million people from poverty. Paying hardworking Americans a livable wage will put them out of a desolate situation and put them in a place where they can actually live as opposed to just scraping by. Another benefit of raising minimum wage is when employees are paid a livable wage, they are initially more interested in the work they are doing. They put more effort into their work, they get more done, and there are fewer miscommunications and less struggle to get employees to prove their worth and work harder, increase work. Think about it. If you are making just $7.25 per hour and trying to pay bills at the same time, it would be frustrating and your performance would not be as good as opposed to making more, which you would be less stressed out and your performance in the workplace would be dramatically better. In conclusion, I believe raising minimum wage needs to happen. When you study the numbers, you see that short term and long term, raising minimum wage does, not, does nothing but benefit society as a whole. Upping minimum wage would boost the economy, reduce poverty, and increase employees 